This video is brought to you by Huawei App Gallery. As you all know, the Cryos tank just got released in the new Battle Pass, and it's a monster. A monster that you can get 50% cheaper by buying your regular Battle Pass through App Gallery. To download the application, nothing easier. Just go into your browser or directly copy past the link in the description. That should get you on their website. When you're there, click on the download button and you're set up. Keep in mind the application is available on any Android phone or even PC using an emulator. When you're in, just create your account and make sure after to go into settings and change your location to either UK, Ireland, Australia or New Zealand. When you're done, it's simple, just download World of Tank Blitz from the App Gallery store. You can log in to your existing World of Tank Blitz account using a Wargaming or Facebook login and keep all your account progress. When the download is over, copy past the link in the description onto your browser that will redirect you to the campaign page. From there, scroll down and click the Claim button. Accept the terms and conditions of the campaign to get to the coupon section of App Gallery. From there, you can use your coupon while purchasing the Premium Battle Pass and get it 50% cheaper. Now, head back to World of Tank Blitz, download it from App Gallery and log in with your Huawei account. Select the Battle Pass in the shop and just buy it. The coupon will be automatically applied. Thanks App Gallery for sponsoring this video. Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we are going to take a look at the Cryos, which is the new Battle Pass tank that Wargaming just released for January. And all I gotta say is that out of all the Battle Pass Wargaming released, this one is probably one of the most worthy. So keep in mind that, well, for 5 euros, it's definitely a good price, but let's see what it has in its stomach. First of all, as it's a Battle Pass tank, we need to buy the Battle Pass. Here I did it, no problem, I got myself to level 80, and once we click on it, you see that we have plenty of rewards. We have the Valentine MK9, which is a premium tank, a collectible that was back in the good old days a premium tank, with the Cryos, which is the main thing we're going to focus on today. For the rest, you still see that Wargaming decided to keep us the survivor camouflage, the legendary camouflage and attachment on the Cryos that is still available in the Battle Pass as well. And finally, we have some gold, premium time, etc. I'm not going to bother too much, it's just showing you what you can get. And to be fair, I just love the legendary avatar because it definitely looks like the alien pistol we had in Call of Duty. With it comes a really, really cool cinematic once you unlock the tank. And well, when you get the cryos, this is what you will see. Pretty cool. Really, really cool. And um, I know it's not something we see that much, but seeing that Wargaming is making some efforts by allowing us to see these kind of things and making some more visuals on the battle pass shows that they are still working on it for our best. The main difference between the regular Cryos and the one with the attachment is here I don't have anything equipped. Once I go for the legendary camouflage, you see that it adds what seems to be some radiators or coolers, something like that. And at the back, you also see that it makes it... I don't know, a little bit more defined, especially on those little spec right there, plus the little rotor turning. So we're not gonna bother and we are gonna equip our tank straight with it because obviously it looks insanely better like that. It's just a regular Yak Panzer IV turned into a Battle Pass tank. But it's not only this, because that tank right there has something really special compared to its opponent. When you take a look at the statistics, you will probably wonder why I'm telling you that this tank is worth it, because based Based on the pure statistics, it truly seems that the Yak Panzer IV, the regular tech tree, is a better option. Yes, they have the exact same gun, but when it comes to the rest, and especially the weapon handling and the mobility, the Yak Panzer is winning all the way. But there is one thing that you don't see right there, and it's the armor profile, where the Cryos completely destroys the Yak Panzer. What makes this tank powerful is first, it sits at 8 degrees of gun depression, and when you use them, well, you become nearly impenetrable for most tanks. 230 millimeters of frontal armor, plus the upper part of the hull that sits at 180. If you use it regularly without angling anything here it's a little bit different and you still can bounce but it's not gonna happen quite often against tier 7. Against tier 6 there is literally no way to get penetrated on the upper part of the tank which makes it completely immune to tier 6. 
of course you still have the lower part of the hull which is a weak spot but hey it's not that big of a weak spot on top of that your tank has a lot really a lot of spaced armor just take a look at that it looks like a sheridan at tier 6 and even if it's not that much because here when you shoot right there you only have only 140 millimeters of penetration of armor but at least you are immune to heat and he shells which makes it just a wonderful tank to play with so concerning the play style of the tank it's quite easy all you want to do is hide the lower part of the hull and if you're facing tier 6 you should be the king of the hill there is literally nothing that can penetrate you which makes that tank completely broken and for five euros trust me it's one of the best investments because keep in mind it's a collectible which means that you're gonna make credits with it which means that it's a regular premium which means that well you kind of want it so let's not lose too much time there we go it seems like the enemies decided to go on the other side of the map which kind of sucks and you know that we feel a little bit sluggish but is it really a problem when nothing can penetrate you i don't think so so there we go okay they went on the other side unfortunately for us but we're not gonna bother because after all i have one huge advantage uh from that position right there it's to be able to just circle around I'm gonna go right there, use my 8 degrees of gun depression, and everything should go as planned. So there we go. Let's go to close combat, and hopefully not getting pushed, because that's what I'm afraid of right now. On top of that, as the tank feels sluggish, you have an amazing accuracy while shooting on move. Well, no, when you shoot while moving, it's better said like that. Okay, now we have to face an AT-8. Unfortunately, out of all the tanks we had to face, this is probably one of the worst. So there you go. Let's try to get us some all down positions. And here, here you see the power of our tanks. Because right now the AT-8 is telling to himself, okay, I'm truly in a bad posture. So if I don't want to, to get attacked, I need to hide. Okay, he comes back. Uh, of course, I have to miss. Not a problem, because when we are in all down, we can just destroy them. And there is nothing they can do. Just take a look at that. They are powerless against me. And this is what makes that tank truly powerful. As long as you hide the lower part of the hull, which I didn't right now, you shouldn't struggle at all. Uh, okay, there we go. Sneaking in another one right there. Can we get him? No, I'm not gonna bother. After all, if I see the 88. Okay, decided to switch to gold shells. Not a problem. Woo, perfect. Okay. Now, let's go. We are not getting penetrated. Oh boy, you got really wrecked on this one. I'm sorry for you. I apologize. All right. Can we get something else right now? Oh, that was a really, really bad shot. Come on. Okay, 1k damage blocked. As you can see, we are a little mouse without the... Can I penetrate? No. Okay, let's stick to the regular position we took. There we go. We are not getting penetrated. At On top of that, the VK can't shoot us. Oh, yes, he can. Never mind. My bad. Okay, come on, come on. We gotta go in. We gotta go in. We gotta go in. There we go. We are sneaking two shots. We are gonna wait for them to try something on me. Maybe they will poke. There we go. We kill the guy. There is the Magnus. And yeah, unfortunately, the main problem with this tank is that as soon as you're just turning around a little bit, it exposes the side and your sides are extremely weak leading you to your death but hey we sustain on the battlefield we bounced quite a lot of shells and by only showing the upper part of the hull we still managed to do an impressive amount of credits this guys is the next gen tier 6 that will obliterate anything on the battlefield let's go for a second game guys just to show you that no i was not lucky and it's just the whole tank that is completely broken here uh where are we gonna play it seems like the teammates uh decided to go on my side which is a good thing because after all I don't have the best mobility. So let's not lose too much time and jump directly into it. Hopefully, we're not going to encounter too much resistance in order for me to be able to circle because I know one or two good all-down positions on the side that I could use to completely destroy the enemies. All right, it seems like we're blessed. Okay, I, I spoke a little bit too soon. Not a problem. Here is two tier five. This is going to hurt. A Leopard can't penetrate me. 
uh, Panzer 2G can't either. There we go. We're not gonna bother. The guy doesn't care about me because he already knows that he can't penetrate. We block him down and... Oh, oh come on. That was an unlucky shot, if I ever see one. Bang, the guy is dead. We completely ripped him off, and there was nothing he could do. Got too bounced, and that was logical. There is nothing that can stop the tank when you are playing low tier. So let's see, maybe we will be able to encounter one or two heavies in order to see if they will have the same fate as their teammates or not. There we go, sticking shot on the KV-2. I don't think that the KV-2 can even penetrate me. Yeah, he goes for an HE, uh, and he got really lucky that this one actually went in without him aiming at all. But we're not gonna bother, we're gonna try to, to sneak a shell, because after all, now we can kill the boy. There we go, it's done, and now we're gonna go straight on the D14. And I think that the guy is gonna rage as well, because it's impossible for him to penetrate me. Come on, come on, come on, we go as fast as we can, because one of the main downsides is your mobility. And well, here we are gonna have some fun. Did he saw me? Not. No, no, he didn't. Okay, we're not gonna bother. What you wanna do in this kind of situations, as he has a low, uh, he doesn't have enough gun depression, you go in like that and you use your gun depression to completely mobilize the guy. And well, he did not even bother. He did not even try to shoot me. There is nothing the guy could do. And well, now we all have to end up like that, killing them and not even struggling doing our damage. This is the power of that tank. It's just a badger with a regular mobility. And oh boy, is it broken. So well, I think that right now you understood what you are facing. It's either you circle it or there is nothing you can do. And well, this is going to make it one of the most powerful tier 6 battle pass tank to ever be released by Wargaming. And it's probably going to cause a couple of problems for the next 2 or 3 weeks or even for the whole month. Because, well, that thing is truly game-changing. And maybe it will also be used in tournaments. Because, well, in tier 6 tournaments, that thing can do quite a lot. So hopefully you enjoyed. If that's the case, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. And I'm going to see you soon for a new video. Bye.